A small disclaimer, there are better and more versatile ways to do lighting and fog than what I'm going to show you in this video, in Game Maker Studio 2, and in Game Maker Studio 1 for that matter. But this is just for people who just maybe don't need anything more fancy than this, just need something that works, or maybe just want to uh, insert something for testing purposes, quick and dirty. And I know I've been saying this a lot recently, but I'll be thinking about making a future video on the more complicated ways to do lighting and fog than this. Um, so let's see, this is what the old Going Merry looks like, well, untextured Going Merry anyway, what it looks like without lighting and fog, with it rather, and this is what it looks without it. So it's going to look very flat, it's going to look very white, it's going to be very uh, difficult to see very much detail because of the uh, uniform lighting and the lack of uh, shading on any of the sides. So as it turns out, the old lighting and fog uh, solutions for Game Maker Studio 1 haven't been removed so much as renamed. Uh, before you would see something like D3D set fog or set lighting or something like that. And now it is simply draw set lighting and we'll enable this with a true parameter. And instead of D3D define light direction or point, we could say draw set light draw set, or no, it's draw, light, define, point. And we'll give it an index one, and let's start it at zero, 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 the room origin. And we could say draw, light, enable, one index, and uh, it's gonna be enabled. And it's complaining about this line for something. Oh, it needs two more parameters. The, uh, the range, which is gonna be, how about just, room width and the color which will make it see white that good game maker that's good and I'm going to actually just uh, without the fog run this so that you can see what it looks like there we go that's considerably better um, the reflections are a little bit weird even the back face back sorry back face culling is not enabled so you will see in some of the uh, faces that have backsides, they're not reflecting light properly. And you can fix that by going down a line and say GPU set call mode. Uh, call mode, I believe clockwise? Or it's just call clockwise. And we shall rerun the game with calling on. The floor is gone because the tiles are being called out. If you don't know what backface calling is, it essentially removes the backside of surfaces. And okay, so this is not lit at all, so you can't see what, anything behind there. Um, it prevents them from being drawn. So if you wanted to have a 2D surface be uh, a front and a back, you'd have to give it a front and a back. But that's more of a 3D modeling uh, tactic than anything else. If you set it to counterclockwise and ran the game, uh, the floor would be... What, the floor would reappear, sorry, and the Mary would appear to be drawn inside out. I should probably turn lighting off so you can actually see it, but it's being drawn inside out. This is what happens when you set the uh, culling to uh, clockwise, or counterclockwise, rather. And it really looks like a mess, so I think I should uh, probably leave it with uh, the intended culling method. Um, let's see, so we can get rid of this. And lastly, as was the video title, GPU set fog, instead of D3D set fog. So we could say enable is true, how about color is, let's make it stand out, like I think I used C red in the example. Uh, so C red, start could be an arbitrary 100, and end could be an arbitrary 1000, maybe? And now there will be fog on the, uh, on the Mary. And you could use this, okay, so the floor is still gone, I forgot about that. But you could use this to add a little more detail to the, uh, to the world. You could use it to hide things that are being included far away, or to hide the fact that you're including things far away, rather. Um, or maybe that you're using a lower level of detail for models that are farther away. And if I were to back up all the way, the mirror would slowly fade to red. There we go. You can use this effect, I believe, in 2D to uh, completely mask a, uh, a sprite without using shaders. Uh, mask a sprite as a certain color without using shaders. 
Uh, but that is a subject for another day. Now, before I go, I should mention that this relies on the default shader that GameMaker uh, uses. Uh, so when you, if you were to call a shader with a shader set something, and then call it, and, and then later undo that with shader reset, uh, this relies on the default shader. So if you use any vertex or fragment shaders for uh, GameMaker 3D, these will not work. You'll have to re-implement fog and lighting on your own. Which is, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the more proper way to do things, uh, according to most people. At least as people on the Game Maker subreddit would have me believe. But I'm going to start finding myself every time I say this. But that's a, that's a code snippet for another day. For now, that's how to use default lighting and fog in Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, this is only for Game Maker Studio 2 if you're using Game Maker Studio 1. Uh, you can use the original functions, except for the call mode, because that was not a thing in the Game Maker Studio 1. You just had on or off options. For now, I'm going to go. I hope you found this a little bit useful. Illuminating, no pun intended. Did I really just say that? My name is Dragonite. I shall have this, co this code, all six of it, available for download in the description of this video. And I will see you all later.